So my name's Neil Trevitt and I'm Vice President of Developer Ecosystem at NVIDIA. But here I'm talking as President of the Kronos Group. My first GDC with Kronos was in 2004 and I've been to everyone every, ever since. So at Kronos we develop open standard APIs and game developers are the core market for the, the standards that we're developing. So we have things like OpenGL and now we have the new generation Vulkan, for example, their API is to enable fast, low latency 3D rendering. It's perfect for gaming, and so you know, these are the peeps we want to reach out to. <laughs> so again, Kronos, we're an open standards organization. We're developing these APIs to enable developers to get to the latest in GPU and 3D rendering technology for games. But creating a specification and putting out a PDF is like the first 10% of the problem. Getting recognition and awareness of the goodness of the APIs and the good it can bring to the developer community and beginning to educate people on how to use the APIs and when they should use them. Now, that's an ongoing education and conversation with the developer community. And you know, GDC is a perfect place to have that ongoing conversation uh, with the game developers. We let Developers communicate to high performance silicon. So the things we've actually been talking about this year at GDC, there, there are three main uh, standards. One is Vulkan. We've just announced Vulkan 1.1. And so we're engaging with the developer community for the first time on all the good new stuff that's in that new specification. Uh, we're in the middle of, and we're almost at the point of delivering uh, OpenXR which is a cross-platform standard for virtual and augmented reality. So we're giving an update to the community where we are, when they can expect the spec, and how that's, that spec is going to work. And the last thing we're talking about here in, uh, this year is GLTF, which is a 3D asset transmission format, just been adopted by Facebook, and it's going to be used by you know, VR and AR apps and engines you know, all around the world. Our perfect person to talk to uh, is a developer who is wanting to develop high performance gaming applications or high performance virtual reality applications and they want to know what they can do with the low level uh, enabling APIs because you know, that's the standards that we're developing and so they want to know. Uh, we both want to be able to you know, inform them but also get their feedback an input because that's a vital part of the ongoing conversation that we have. It's, it's been awesome. <laughs> so we did a developer day on Monday. So uh, Kronos had a whole day uh, of sessions on OpenXR, Vulkan and GLTF. And it was standing room only the whole day. And uh, it's been really a good bi-directional conversation. Um, people are, are keeping it real. This, it's been really interesting to see. I mean, Vulcan is still quite new, it's only two years old. OpenGL is 25 years old, so it's still a baby. So people are beginning to use it, and you know, nothing is ever perfect, but people are keeping it real. We're talking about the good stuff and some of the, the road bumps we're, we're hitting, but people are saying it's totally worth it. You know, this is a great standard, we want to use it. It's been you know, uh, really good to hear. If you're a company that wants to engage in the gaming industry and in particular you know, get to the coalface, the developers actually doing the work, creating these amazing new experiences and titles, this is the primary place in the annual calendar of places you can go to engage with everyone in one place. Yet, yeah, I mean, during the week, um, my calendar is, is packed, you know, meeting cool people. Uh, uh, both, both customers and developers, uh, again, anyone who's anyone who's here. Inspirational.